Democrat Alyssa Slotkin is the winner for the open U.S. Senate seat from Michigan. That's according to the Associated Press. Her opponent, Republican Mike Rogers, conceded this afternoon. He was hoping to flip the seat currently held by Debbie Stabenow, who's retiring. Slotkin's win, a thin margin, just under 20,000 votes. Before the race was called, she talked in front of the media hours ago. 13 on your side's Micah Cho joins us with the message she had for voters. Juliet, while she didn't declare herself the winner of the race during that time, she said she believed by the time all of the votes were counted, she would be the next United States Senator from Michigan. Now, Slotkin will now join fellow Democrat Gary Peters in representing Michigan. She's a former CIA analyst and current member of the House of Representatives serving Michigan's 7th District. Speaking this afternoon before the race was called, she said she ran for Senate to project, protect the rights of all in Michigan. Here's more of what she had to say. When it comes to the fundamental issues of our democracy, our rights, our systems of checks and balances, I will not give an inch. To that end, I pledge to follow in the footsteps of Michigan's great legislators, Debbie Stabenow, Carl Levin, Phil Hart, Leaders who fought relentlessly for their values, worked with integrity to find common ground, and who always put Michigan first. Now, in his concession statement, former Congressman Mike Rogers said in part, quote, Congratulations to Congresswoman Slotkin on her victory. I wish her the best as she serves the people of Michigan in the Senate. I am humbled and honored for the millions of Michiganders who embraced our campaign, shared their thoughts, their concerns, their ideas, and put their faith and trust in me to serve our great state as their United States Senator. Now, Micah, that race was called this afternoon. What was Slotkin's lead? Julia, at that time, Slotkin had a 19,000 vote lead, 2.69 million votes to 2.67 votes. Thank you, Micah.